Hello guys, and are you ready, ready for another shitty unboxing? Um, so yeah, doing the network cable now, as you all know, I bought this back when I bought my computer case, but I just didn't open it because, really, there was no reason to. But anyway, this is the Wireless N network adapter for the Xbox 360. Might be asking, wait, network adapter? Why? Well, this thing, among with its many design flaws, was launched with no Wi-Fi built in. And... My, I guess Microsoft decided to um, say, hey, you guys want Wi-Fi? Um, here, spend an extra $100 on a Wi-Fi adapter. I think when they first came out, it was like $100 for a Wi-Fi adapter, and it was crazy. People were getting pissed, you know, why wasn't this launched? And every other console was launched with Wi-Fi. I'm going to tell you all what the design flaws of, well, what I feel are the, many, are the five main design flaws of this system. Now, it's a great system. It has great games, great graphics, you know? It's it's a great system. I do love the 360, but the design, and we're talking about the original design, none of this like, oh, we're forgiven of all uh, of all of our previous design choices because we, re we released it in a thinner version. No. Alright, so first of all, obviously the first thing I'm going to touch on is the disc tray. A lot of people have a uh, Touched on this before during my TV. I'm going to show you what's happening. I have on my I own my Xbox a little over a year now. Bought this thing. Um, I think I got it. This was this is actually the 60 gigabyte um model before they discontinued them. I got like one of the last ones. So we're going to turn this thing on. And uh, yeah, loading. So there's our home menu and stuff. Now, the disc tray is the main problem, and I'll show, I'll tell you why. Now, both the PS3 and Nintendo Wii do not have these problems because they decided to do, you know, no disc tray. It was just like a cool little, you know, thing. Now, I'm just, I'm just wondering, you know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, the 360 came out, you know, earlier than most, so that's why. Well, the 360 only launched, like, a couple months before the Wii, so... <laughs> You know, that's not, that's not like a reason to say, oh, you know, this console, you have to forgive it because it launched early. No. This is what's happening with my disc tray, and I own this a little bit over a year. Eject. It's getting stuck. And I basically have to keep doing this until the disc tray comes out. I once done this for 30 seconds straight, and finally the disc tray came out, but look. This is what I have to go through every single time when I want to insert a disc. Finally, you know? This only happens when I turn on the console and leave the disc, and when I want to eject a game, it's nice and simple. But yeah, that's number one, all right? Number two, when I think it's the most important, no Wi-Fi, like I said previously. Basically, it only has wired internet connection support, so if you want to have, if let's say your router is on the other side of the house, right? Well, too bad. Spend, you know, all this money on a 50-foot, you know, Ethernet cable, and, uh, yeah, connect it and have the cable just run through your entire home. Or spend $100 on a network adapter. All right, now you're probably asking, why did I get a new network adapter if I have one already? Well, I got a new router, and... You know, I wanted to test, and I, I was, you know, getting lag and stuff, even with the new router, and I finally came to the conclusion that it's because this Wi-Fi adapter is only a B and G network adapter. And for those of you who don't know, B and G are the mid-range. I believe A is the lowest, although I'm not so sure about A because I haven't really heard of it or ever seen it. And N is the highest. This is an N network adapter. Look, it's black. It has two bars instead of one. So that's one. Number two, you can't plug in the, all the ports in the Xbox, all right? What the? This thing's acting weird. Look at this. I'm trying to get it through so you can see a nice uh, shot, but basically, you know, let's take this out. I'm going to take my network adapter out. Here we go. I have to have this USB cord running with my uh, network adapter because it isn't connect ready, and connect needs to be plugged into the back. Anyway, but here, take a look in the back. Um, still can't see, hold on. Nope, really, uh, I don't have anything. But anyway, look, in the back, basically I have my HDMI cable, and above that is your 
input for a component, right? Well, guess what? If you want to plug in HDMI, for instance, let's say you play off of your com computer monitor, like I do, all right, on my PS3. You have to use the DVI to HDMI, but wait, you need something to output audio, right? Well, now, you, now you're pretty much fucked because you can't use a DVI HDMI because if you want to plug in audio, you have to get the component cables. And when you plug in the component cables, it blocks the HDMI port, so you can't plug in the HDMI port. So basically, it's either you go component um, with audio or you just go HDMI with no audio. Um, talk about a computer monitor, all right? Another thing also is that the component cables, let's say you, you want to say, oh, well, what about optical audio? I have a, a sound bar or something like that, and I have surround sound, I want to use the optical audio cable. Yeah, well, too bad, because in order to use the optical audio cable, you have to use the component cables, because there's no optical audio input on the system itself. It's only on the input cables for the component cables. So, yeah, you're pretty much screwed there as well. All right. Um, was that two? I believe that was two. Number three. External hard drives. Now, this doesn't really bother me. What I like about these external hard drives is that they're easy to swap out. Yet, what I don't like is what I don't like is the fact that you they're Microsoft branded, meaning you have to buy it from them. You can't just go to Best Buy and pick up like a 500 gigabyte SATA drive and expect it to work with this thing, like you can with the PlayStation 3. Um, I don't think the Wii has upgradable memory, but it would be nice if you had that. But you can't. You have to buy it from them, and they only have 20, 60. Uh, 120 and 250, I believe, and you have to buy it from them. So, yeah, um, there's there's three. I think there's some other ones I'm thinking about. Um, you know that I just had to. Uh, I just not thinking about at the moment. Oh, the power bricks, another one of them. The the PS3, which is bigger and size, um, for some reason does not have a power. Does not need a power cable. And when you really look at the slim consoles, the PS3, which is also slimmer in size, doesn't need a power cable, whether, um, even though the 360 redesign is, I think, a little bit bigger than the original, than the uh, slim design for the PS3, but I'm not really sure about that. I have to compare them side by side. But it still needs a power brick. Now, I don't even know why we need power bricks, but yeah, there's that. And I think I touched on everything. I'm still not sure. Okay, there's probably one more I'm thinking about, but yeah. Anyway. I've been gabbling on for way, way too long. Sorry about that, but I just wanted to voice my opinion on that. All you guys who say, oh, you're a Microsoft fanboy, and for all you guys who say, oh, you're a PS3 fanboy, all right? I own both consoles. I have, I probably have a higher gamer score or trophy count than you do, to be honest. I play more games than you play. I play more, you know, games that are different than you, probably. I swear, these people who just play Call of Duty and are just like, oh, Look at my gamer score. It just, uh, I just freaking, uh, you know, what's the last one? Plat, well, there's platinum for PS3, and then there's one more on 360. I forgot the name of it, but it's when you get all the achievements. Like, oh, look, I just completed all the achievements and trophies for, uh, Call of Duty. I'm so good. Yeah, right. But yeah, I, I, I'm just annoyed. People who play the same thing, I swear. And I think it's the fact because they can't afford much of anything else. And it's also the fact because they don't want to get out of their comfort zone. If they like something, they're just going to be keep playing that. Um, they're just going to be keep playing what they like. All right. Come on. Like I said, horrible unboxing. I didn't get my tripod out because I just wanted to hurry up and upload this. But yeah. This should not cause any lags. My internet speed here is insanely fast. Um, I have a 40 megabit download speed and a 2.5 upload speed. This is at the 360 house. So now a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, I want your internet speed. I'm going to set you guys down for a quick sec. Sorry about that. Yeah, most people do want my internet speed. <laughs> All right. So pretty similar to the 360 wired controller, which I unboxed for the PC earlier this week. Um, yeah. And you can actually have them both sitting down, so that's nice. But I'm gonna have them both standing up. And basically, it's pretty simple to connect. Um, I just take this USB cable and plug it into the adapter, or you would just plug it into a USB cable in the back if you don't have connect. But yeah, just just like this. Uh, actually, let me position this better. 
<laughs> just like this. All right, so now it's plugged in, and now this thing, and, and basically it has two mounts that just connect onto the system itself, so that's nice. It's actually mounted right now. All right, so once it's connected, this is like a guide to it. I actually didn't expect this video to be too long, but you know me. Sometimes I like to gab. So you want to go into your preferences, I believe. Yes, preferences. No, profile. Oh, I'm sorry, system. I'm being an idiot. System. Go into your system. Go to network settings, and it's going to ask you to set this thing up. You're going to select your network that you want to connect to. Configure network. Oh look, and it recognizes that it's an N network. Um, automatic. Why won't it connect? Or test X, I'm sorry, text X, test Xbox Live connection. I'm being an idiot. So yeah, it's gonna sign you out, and it's basically gonna connect to your network. No, my last name's not Johnson, if you're wondering. It's the last name of my uh, stepfather. It's connecting? Oh, it's a first time setup. That's probably why. So once it connects to that, it's going to say, Oh, well, I'm connected to the router. Let's connect to the internet. Connect to the internet. I was like, Oh, I'm connected to the internet. Let's connect to the Live. Oh, perfect. Yes. Connected. So once you're doing that, Basically, all you're going to do is sign in. Sign in with mine. And it should sign me in right away. Good. Now I'm signed in. Now that thing's all set up, it recognizes that it's an end network. Something else I wanted to uh, do, active downloads. I was actually downloading something, the Darkness demo. This is 1.40 gigabytes. The Darkness 2 demo. Let's see, uh... It should be relatively quick, if I'm not uh, mistaken. 13%? Let's see how fast it goes. 40 megabits is a lot. Oh, look, 14%? It, it's definitely going pretty fast for download 1.40 gigabytes, you know? It's not, it's not slow, so... I mean, uh, yeah, if I really wanted to sit here and hold this camera up for about 15 minutes, I can probably record the whole download, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to wait an extra two minutes for, you know, this download to finish. But anyway, you got the gist of, um, how to set up that thing. Um, pretty simple. Downloads much faster, no lag, and, yeah, I'll see you all for the no lag uh, multiplayer gameplay tomorrow, I guess. I'm going to be doing the weekly rage, and then we'll go on from there, right, guys? So, thanks.